Hey guys, Pastor Larry here. Shreveport Bossier Rescue Mission Saturday the 18th. We're in the middle of a COVID-19 uh, shelter in place here at the mission. Uh, as you can see, I got the three crosses back behind me. When you travel on I-20 is right in front of me right now. Uh, we're on the corner of McNeil and uh, Fairfield. And uh, this has been an icon in our city for years. Streetport Bossier Rescue Mission has been open 65 years. We are a 65-year-old ministry. Uh, we've never closed our door. We have no intentions on closing our door. Thanks to you, uh, our supporters that support uh, this ministry faithfully. And uh, just wanted to kind of give you an update that uh, God's doing great things here, that we got men and women uh, uh, sheltering in place here, and we're still doing intakes 24-7. We have a process. We've been talking to the health department, CDC, uh, we're part of CityGate Network of Missions that's in touch with the White House on the best way for uh, missions uh, to uh, rescue missions to do things. Uh, on the uh, CDC website, there's a whole page and a whole section for us that are in the mission business, how to follow uh, protocols and procedures. And we're doing that, and we're able to do that because of you. I want to ask you to continue to pray for us, and we'll pray for your families. If you need prayer, for your family or for anybody, you can contact us at prayer at sprescuemission.com. We'd love to pray for you. Continue to pray for us here. Uh, you can go to our website, sprescuemission.com. You can see our immediate need list, Amazon, through UPS or FedEx or something. We'll ship it right here to us. Can't wait for this to be over with so we get to see our volunteers and all of our friends out there and get back out in the community. But I wanted to assure you, uh, for our mission family and everybody that sewed into this ministry that we are open. Matter of fact, we've opened our doors up even wider. Normally our intake hours are 9 to 2, Monday through Friday. We're doing 24-7 intakes now. Just got off the phone just a while ago with Caddo Sheriff's Department talking about bringing a husband and wife and two kids in. So uh, we're steady doing intakes. Thank you so much. We couldn't change our cities one life at a time if it wasn't for you. And so I want to tell you from myself, from my wife, Donna Otwell, Director of Women and Children's Program, that we love you. But most of all, I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. Thank you.